Hey lovelies! Today we are doing seafoam ocean nails and I'm so excited to show you this method. So we're going in with D&D &D Blue Mist. Now this was one of the colors I got at the Toronto Nail and Beauty and this color is so gorgeous. You can just apply one coat like I'm going to or you can stack it to get like a deeper blue color but I really wanted to go for this like jelly look. So, ugh, I just absolutely love this color. You'll see I kind of go over certain areas a couple times. It's just because I wanted to make sure it was perfect as I was only doing one coat. Before I have to get into the method and everything else, I just wanted to thank all of my beautiful nail fam for not only coming in to support me here but everything you've been doing on my social media on my instagram over here on my tiktok like you all have been just so great if you hear any meowing that's actually my roommate's cat <laughs> so i just wanted to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart and i also wanted to thank you for all the fear street love that project means the world to me, and I know it's a longer video, but I just really appreciate everyone that went out and watched it. Uh, Fear Street Part 2 is going to be coming really soon. Throughout this video, I really apologize if there's any moments that it's out of focus. I really do try to watch that I'm always in a frame and that it's in focus. But sometimes, you know, we get into the groove and uh, I forget to look over. So I do apologize for that. There's also like an absurd amount of times that I'm just like looking at the nail and kind of like glinting it because I was just so impressed with each stage of this. So I'm sorry that there's a lot of like um, poses and things like that, but I was feeling these nails. So with a little bit of rubbing alcohol, I'm just going in here and just cleaning up all of my sidewalls and just making sure that any mistakes are cleaned up. And this is my goal. This is what I want to make, a gorgeous ocean nail. So with McCart's Nail Art Foil Glue, I'm just quickly going in there, making sure that I'm getting every part of the nail because I want to make sure that the foil I'm going to go in with, that I can basically put it on almost the entire surface. You're going to see with the foil I use, I don't want to cover the entire nail, but I almost want to put like fragments all over so it almost looks like shards, if that makes sense, like shards of sea glass. So I'm from a West Indian household, so if there's ever a time that I'm talking too fast or you didn't hear something I said, you can totally just comment down below and I'll reiterate whatever I said entirely too fast. I do apologize, but I get really excited sometimes. <laughs> so this is the gorgeous foil. My friend Rachel actually gifted this to me and some other gorgeous goodies that I'm just like obsessed with. So this foil almost looks like Aurora oil slick. It's a really gorgeous and I actually did a uh, wedding press-ons and I use this as well and this foil is just so versatile and so beautiful. The scissors you saw me take out earlier were from the Toronto Nail and Beauty. And as you see I'm just gently putting the foil all over but not so the entire thing um, like you don't want it to go on smooth if that makes sense like you want it to kind of go patchy because I want that shard look shards of sea glass if that makes sense
I also switched backgrounds here. I was really loving this the green sparkles, but I felt like maybe you couldn't exactly see the foil in all of its glory, so I went back to my original backdrop. <laughs> now this is what I was talking about, the posing. I'm so sorry, but I am in love. Even if I just stopped here, this would be like frozen lake kind of vibes. It's so gorgeous. So going in with my alcohol wipe, I'm just quickly cleaning up my beautiful resin palette. This baby I am obsessed with. Like it, it just makes nail art so much easier. I'll also leave a link down below in my description for everything that I use. Now there's a few products that are not available anymore, so I can't include those. For all the McCart products used, you can use my discount code down below. Now it's not mine, but it's my friend Tara Wilson, and I absolutely adore her. You gotta check out her page. She is oh so talented. So going in with McCart's base coat, I just make sure that I cover all my areas. I didn't want to use anything with too much of a glossy finish. I wanted that sticky, uh, beautiful, tacky layer for my design. Sometimes finding a good white polish is so hard to find, they are not all made equal. Some have more of a beigey tone or an off-white, and I was just looking for something so stark and snow white, and this McCart Blanc is gorgeous. So going in with my fine liner and the white, I'm going to make my design. But first, what I like to do is kind of make like swishing patterns so I can kind of get used to what like design movement I'm going to be doing and also so I can fully saturate the brush. So that little octopus blob <laughs> is a result of that. Now these lines, they do not have to be perfect or squiggles. <laughs> These are just gonna be your gorgeous waves and sea foam. And you can also use this technique to create a gorgeous marble look if you want, or like a smoke effect. It just depends on which brush you're using to manipulate the product, and you have to use rubbing alcohol to um, get almost like that blooming look. There's a big trend going on right now with swirls. So you could totally do this design with like the kind of squiggles or swirls if you wanted, or you could go ahead and use the rubbing alcohol like I do later on to create a unique design.
Using the cap of my rubbing alcohol, I just quickly fill up how much product I need. Now, I totally overfilled because it poured faster, but it's okay. I needed it for the cleanup and other things, so it got used. There's no waste over here. <laughs> so this rubbing alcohol honestly is amazing. I use it for so many different things, and now I'm using it for my nails, and it just, this look and the way you can spread out the polish with the alcohol is so satisfying and you could literally apply this as i was saying to like a smoke nail look a marble look this ocean look you can do so many different things now for anybody who's watching this and is not following please subscribe and hit that bell i really would love you to be a part of this nail fam we are an amazing community of boss babes that all take care of each other and spread lots of love. So I would love you to be a part of this nail family. Because I'm working on myself, I really do switch the ankles up quite a bit just so I can ensure that I'm really moving in the direction that I want to. Obviously, if you're working on a client, you don't have as much um, mobility to move their hand around. But honestly, if you just practice this method, you'll find out what works best for you. And I just honestly think it just gives such a gorgeous, such a gorgeous look.
Going in with Tierra Sky No Rub Top Coat, I quickly encapsulate all of my nails. Well, it's not really encapsulate, but I, I make sure it covers the entire surface, and I do this twice, just so I can ensure that not only my nail is nice and strong, but it just looks absolutely beautiful and the design is protected. Now, because I only did one coat of the original color, I really did want to make sure I did this extra layer, and that's why I say for strength. Uh, I just wanted to ensure that I had the, the proper thickness for the length of the nail. I didn't mention this before, but in the beginning of the video, you see that I'm actually, I've already used Builder Gel on my nails, overlay, and this is the final, like, my final design. When I got the inspiration for this nail, I originally did like a test nail um, just to make sure uh, what method I wanted to use and at what products. So honestly, this made me drool because I kind of wish that my natural nails were longer so I could have pulled this off. <laughs> but I just wanted to stick to the actual length of my natural nails. That's why this almond set on my, my nails are a little bit, a little shorter. Your love and support has meant everything to me. So if you're newly subscribed or if you're a part of the Nail Fam, please comment down below. And all of the products I used, as I mentioned earlier, are gonna be in the description box. And I can't wait to see you again. So after I finish drooling over this gorgeous nail, we're gonna get into last looks and then the beautiful photo shoot that I did afterwards. But honestly, my mermaid heart was so obsessed with this set. And I am just so proud that my vision not only looks this gorgeous, but that I was able to pull this off myself. There's something so satisfying about being able to do your own nails. And I'm learning so much from the community, from the beautiful, beautiful people that I'm meeting. And I just wanted to do a quick shout out to Mama Does Nails. You have been such an amazing friend and support to me. Thank you so much, honey. 
And Tara, like just, you're the world as well. Like you're the greatest. Just anybody else that I haven't mentioned, you know who you are. Just thank you, thank you so much for all of your support. If there's any products or any nail ideas that you want me to try out, just put it in the description. Well, not the description, but put it into the comments down below, please. So anybody that does nails or does their own nails knows that this is one of the most satisfying points. You got your cuticle oil on. It is time to model. <laughs> I hope this video finds you well and during such a tough time during the pandemic and everything, I really hope you're taking care of yourself and doing what that means for you. Mwah! Till next time. <laughs>